Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to FTB Interactions. So, uh, it's been a crazy start of the week. Um, I've been keeping, I've just been watching the election and stuff, and kind of watching all that, so I've been a little bit sidetracked this week. But I have been working a little bit on here, I did go out and do a bit of mining. Um, I've got this running, I went and mined up a bunch of iron and stuff. Um, but I have been electrolyzing some emerald dust. Now, before too long, we are going to be doing clay dust. Um, we're going to do a Batania push here before too long, and we're going to switch over to doing clay dust. So that's why I'm not automating this right this second. Um, I think I'd like to have clay dust for this, because we will get that lithium. Uh, using emerald dust, we're just getting basically aluminum and silicon being the two big things here. Um, and a lot of byproduct oxygen, which I don't really care so much about. Um... But I would like to get the lithium, silicon, and aluminum. But if we pop upstairs, I have done a little bit of automation additions um, up here. And if we take a look over here, you can see I've added more alloy smelters that are doing a lot of our logistic stuff. Um, because I was starting to get low on those materials. And over here, I've added another little section here that does green lens, ruby lens, green sapphire, ruby lens, diamond lens, uh, precision laser engravers, and an advanced cutting machine, which is stocked with a lubricant, which we automated a bit back. Um, and so that way we can do all of our wafer-based things, um, because we do now have wafers automated uh, within our blast furnace here. Just to make that whole side of like making processors and stuff totally hands off, which is great. Now today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching over to space. Here we go. Uh, we're going to be switching over to space and turning our attention over to this because we're going to start working towards space. Um, there is a couple things that we're going to have to do before we go into space. One is of course stopping mobs from spawning anywhere in the general vicinity because we want to avoid those mechanical T-Rexes like the plague. They're horrible. Um, not really so much from a combat perspective, but from an annoyance perspective. Normally, I don't like to ban mobs in the area that I'm working, um, but when mechanical T-Rexes are involved, they're just, they're loud, they're annoying, they're obnoxious, and we don't want to have to deal with those. Um, if we take a look here, silicon production, we're good on that. Um, this is the assemblers. We already have HV assemblers, aluminum production, yeah. Polyvinyl chloride, yes, and laser engrazer, engravers. We've got all that stuff. Um, oh, and by the way, I do have an assembler up here. I haven't put a sign on it just yet, but it is um, being stocked with destabilized redstone. Uh, we're going to use that, I know, a little bit today. Now, if we take a look here, the hollow projector is up first. That's what they want us to make as we begin moving into um, advanced rocketry. Okay, so there is our Eye of Redstone, and optical sensor is a Diamond Lens 2 Gold Foil. And let me just go ahead and grab one of these diamond plates. I'm going to go ahead and set up a recipe for Gold Foil, um, because I believe it is used a bit. And let me go ahead and lathe that real quick. Alright, let me throw that into there, and I'm not sure if this is going to consume the Diamond Lens or not. Two, yeah. Okay, it does consider the diamond lens, which makes sense. It makes this kind of similar shaped optical sensor here. Okay, so we should be good to get our hollow projector. So there's that. That's going to complete a quest for us. And I'll go ahead and take that. Um, moving on, there's the precision assembler. And actually, one thing I want to do real quick, this silicon, let me go ahead and throw it into the blast furnace. Let me actually set up a recipe for it, though. And then go ahead and send us, like, 20 silicon ingots. Okay. Um, now, the geopolymer, let me pull that up real quick. That's going to take sodium hydroxide, aluminum dust, glass dust. This makes eight at a time. I'm going to make a bit of this, though, because I know... Um, I think the quest gives us eight. No, it okay, it gives us 32. In that case, I'll probably make a couple batches of it, though. I mean, it does take some liquid concrete. That's fine. Um, sodium hydroxide is going to be... We could do it here with sodium and water through a chemical reactor, which I think is what we'll do. Okay, so that, that, and then we toss in our water. 
There we go. There's our four sodium hydroxide. And then it's just aluminum and glass dust and gravel. And just in case down the road we may end up automating this, uh, let's tell it that if it takes glass, it's going to get glass dust. And then we'll just add that to the macerator. So if the situation comes up where we need glass dust down the road, we'll already have that in place. Honestly, down the road, we'll probably automate this, but at the moment, we're not going to. And the reason being primarily the aluminum dust um, and because the fact that we just aren't going to be needing a lot of this getting started, I don't believe. Um, probably not a whole lot of it long term either, but there is our geopolymer thermocrete. We'll have a stack of this by the time it's done with those four crafts. Um, so that should be pretty good for us. And then the precisely, that's going to tie into these quests. Okay. And then the launch pad. Do we want to go ahead and build and set up the launch pad first? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do the launch pad. It's just going to be black and yellow dye, 25 of that. And then we're just going to need a bunch of steel rods. Um, well, actually just seven of them. So that's actually pretty cheap. Okay, so if we take some ink sacs, some dandelion yellow, and some polycrete or thermocrete, we get our launch pads. There's that. And then our steel rods. There's our structure towers. Okay, we're going to set up our launch pad out here, I do believe. Just right out front. Um, I'm trying to keep an eye on, like, this is the area that's junk loaded at the moment for our base. And so I'm trying to keep everything within that five by five, right? Um, so we're gonna put it in right here and we'll kind of build this up just a little bit, a little bit later. Launch pads are always kind of weird because it's like, where do I put a rocket launch pad in a base, <laughs> you know? Um, but we're going to build this up. I believe that goes on the side. I could be wrong, but I believe it has to connect onto the side there. I believe that's right. I believe it has to connect onto the side. We'll find out uh, once we go set this up. Um, you know, get a, get a rocket ready to launch. The Precision Assembler. Let's turn our attention towards that. So this is going to be a multi-block. We're going to need two glass. We're going to need the Precision Assembler. which I believe this is where we're going to start using those silicon. Yeah, it is. Machine structure. That's pretty straightforward. Um, are these used for much of anything? Like, they're not used for much. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, let me just grab... Like, let me just grab this out for just a minute. We're going to go ahead and chisel this over to plates. And we're going to go ahead and just run this and make like a stack of glass panes. And we'll get that back running. Um, I think most everything else is pretty straightforward for this. Um, we're going to need a couple control circuit boards. We're going to need an item IO circuit board. Uh, that's fine. I'll tell you what, these are pretty, um, I think, rarely used things that we're not going to be ordering too much. Um, so I'm actually going to be setting these up in a couple of our current assemblers. And then I think the rest of this is all pretty straightforward at this point. So I'm going to get this stuff together real quick. Yeah, so there's our user interface. And then the rest of this stuff is, yeah. Okay, I'll be back here in just a second. Okay, and I went ahead and automated machine structures just because it's going to make our life a little bit easier um, being able to order those. And I just added it to the miscellaneous small machine parts um, section here, so uh, we'll be able to order those. So there's that. Okay, now the rest of this I think is all pretty straightforward. We're going to need 20 machine structures. Let me, uh, wait, what is... Oh, okay. Seven hatches or machine frames, and then we need two motors. Motors, gold coil, steel plates, steel rods. There's the enhanced motor. Yeah, we're going to be going with the, the gold one here, the advanced motor. So and we're going to say steel. I want to make steel rings for starters. And we're going to teach this that if it polarizes those rings, it's going to get the magnetic steel rings. And I'm going to go ahead and just... Quest 30 of those machine structures also. 
And then we're also going to need uh, the hatches or machine frames. I think most of the uh, input, output, fluid in, fluid out, power in. This is machine structure with the chest. This is machine structure with the chest. Machine structure with bucket, with bucket, and we're going to need small batteries. These are small sodium batteries with battery alloy plates. Okay, it's just a little process here. We've made these before, or the battery, you know, the battery, uh, the sodium batteries, so it's not a big deal. Um, the battery alloy is lead and antimony. Okay. I think we'll go ahead and make all five of these, and then we'll have our machine structures. So, But we'll go ahead and get our motors. So we're going to get four of those gold coils, and we're going to get our two advanced motors. So there's that. We've got two small sodium batteries that I guess we made a bit back. I think I made one on accident and I think we got one as a quest I'm assuming because it's got 50,000 AU in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use those I do believe and then I'm going to go ahead and just get this battery alloy plates made. I'll probably make um, I'll probably make a crafter for this because I know um, at least the battery alloy plate because I think we'll be using this a bit. Um, batteries tend to be pretty popular uh, for crafting. I'm just going to throw that in there. That'll give us enough battery alloy to use for a little bit. Um, so it's that. that. That gets us our two small battery holes. And then we're basically just going to need more battery alloy plates. So that should be fine. And then we'll just toss that into the canning machine. It's a visual bug there. There's our small sodium batteries. And then I think that, that, that's just going to craft it down into those Volts library small batteries. All right, so we're going to have that. That's going to get us our power input plug. So there's that. And quest completed precisely. That's going to give us an elite motor and then some more of this stuff. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take the elite motor for sure. Um, I guess we could. I didn't even notice it was going to give us that. I wonder if we can mix and match motors. Probably can, I imagine. Um, so at this point, let's grab our hollow projector. And we're going to set this to the precision assembling machine. There we go. I always hate trying to position these. Um, because they're just really awkward. Yeah, like right in there. Um, I think that's going to be good. So let's go ahead. We'll put down our precision assembler. Um, this can be any kind of machine frame or a hatch. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the power input plug. Does this not really have a block in it? We're going to put the power input plug there. We're going to put this stuff down like so. Um, it's going to have two coils. Looks like we can use copper, titanium, aluminum, so on and so forth. Uh, we're going to be going with gold because we got them from the quest and then I think I think we're supposed to have a motor that goes that goes in right there like that I believe okay and then we'll take our scroll wheel and I just want to see what this is uh, it's gonna be hollow here and then we're gonna have our two pieces of glass let me go grab that Okay, so we'll have our glass there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have, um, oh, this has to be machine structure, it can't be, uh -huh. so it seems like all of our item and fluid, it's been a while since I set one of these up, it seems like all of our item and fluid has to be on the bottom layer. Um, not a huge fan of that, but, um, yeah, let's go ahead, we'll do an input hatch here. We'll have output hatch here. Realistically, I don't think that we're ever probably going to be using at least 
maybe not fluid out maybe we might I don't know um, we'll do fluid in here and fluid out here since I've got to put them there I suppose and then what we'll do is we'll just build this out like that and then I think the top is all just machine structures there we go right click that there is our machine assembler our precision assembler uh, you can see our speed right now is 7.41 our power is just standard default power and right now we don't have any power in this so I'm gonna have to feed over power to it and then we can start crafting things with that as we need to um, next up there is the space station assembler okay now for making our spacesuit I'd like to go ahead and get this oh yeah did that because I've got this one set up for small gears and uh, I don't know for sure that I want a large gear one but I, I probably will um, I should probably just change that sign to small gears and set up a large gear one um, I've just been changing it because you don't use these gears as much as the small gears but I know we will be using them some um, let's go ahead and grab our user interface and our suit workstation so there's that and then for making our spacesuit I counted it up and I think it's 15 rock wool that we're gonna need it has to be white rock wool let's go ahead and just change this over there we go and the space helmet we'll go ahead and order that stuff uh, there's our space boots our space helmet I use my aluminum rod for that so let me order another one of those um, there's our space helmet our space uh, let's go ahead and do the space legs because they're pretty quick there's that and then the spacesuit chest plate okay this is going to take a steel rotor and which we do have that automated but the liquid fuel tank we're going to need dynamic valves and large polyethylene pipes okay let me just go ahead and order the six steel plates the dynamic valves are just dynamic tanks uh, with circuits okay go ahead and send me two of those basic electronic circuits um, and then the polyethylene pipe that's six polyethylene ingots okay there's our basic electronic circuits this goes into is it alloy smelter yeah okay oh it's one circuit for two okay my bad there's our dynamic valves I'm just gonna add this in we had this set up um, I am going to probably we'll see if this comes up a bit but uh, actually speaking of what is it what all are large polyethylene pipes used for just liquid fuel tanks okay yeah it's stuff like that that's used for like one thing it's kind of like eh. <laughs> do I want to automate it I mean I know we'll use liquid fuel tanks a little bit but I made medium polyethylene pipes whoops let me just yank that out change it over to the large pipe and toss that in there and let me fix it back okay so for our liquid fuel tank there's that for this our aluminum plate there is our small or our spacesuit chest piece now in addition they want us to get a high pressure tank uh, we're gonna go ahead and yeah we don't get one as a reward we're gonna go ahead and make two of these these are cylinder molds in the extruder okay so we'll get those pressed out there we go and if we grab all of this there we go that quest is done now for right now I'm gonna put this um, well actually the suit workstation let's go ahead all right let's go ahead we'll put that in and then put our two tanks into our chest piece um, now as far as what other modules do we have access to I remember there's quite a bit we may add a few of these uh, before we go into space 
we'll see. I think the um, the hover, flight speed, bionic leg, some of these we may end up doing. I think most of these are going to be th through the precision assembler uh, to do those. So, but uh, yeah, there we go. There was our spacesuit. I am also going to enchant this stuff um, as well. So we want to, yeah, let's go ahead and enchant it actually. So let's do. I've got plenty of XP, so I'm just going to take um, 69 levels. Um, and then let me get some lapis. So that we have that we have that done, um, let me put in... Or can we not enchant this? Ugh, okay. I could have swore it used to be enchantable, but maybe not. It might be enchantable if we use like a bypass system that doesn't work like a normal enchanting table, you know? Um, it's possible it may be enchantable then, but we'll see. All right, so moving on, and from that quest, we do get uh, Airtight Seal enchant, which will be good. And we probably will set up Airtight Seal enchants on this stuff. Um, so that we can breathe in space with our normal armor too. So um, You do still need oxygen. It's a little bit... You get a lot more like oxygen time if you use this stuff. But we'll switch it over for like dungeons and things like that. This will be useful. Okay, so moving on, there is this. The Space Station Assembler takes advanced circuits. Um, I am going to set up an automated recipe for this. So let me just, just pull this up. It is uh, good electronic circuits. So if you take a good electronic circuit, you're going to get uh, an advanced circuit. That is correct, right? Let's see. Yeah. Good electronic circuit makes advanced circuit. Beautiful. And that is going to be in the diamonds, the diamond lens one. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it crafts at a pretty decent rate, I think. There is our advanced circuit. So our space station assembler go ahead and put this in. We're going to need blocks of polyvinyl chloride, a rocket assembling machine, and I think we're going to need another rocket assembling machine for here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just make two rocket assembling machines, actually. And I believe, if I recall, these are pretty easy. Um, I am going to need those aluminum gears. Let me just get, let me just order 40 aluminum. And we'll get these crafted out. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't think these are used for anything once we get out of, I mean, we use them for the precision assembler. We use them for the orbital laser drill. We use them for the space station assembler, the rocket assembling machine. There's also the enhanced ender cores. We may end up doing a bit with those. That would be the only maybe thing, but most of this stuff is stuff that we're going to craft one time. Advanced diesel generators, we probably won't be using those, like, at all. Um, so, Yeah. <laughs> But I'll probably be setting up an extruder because I do use those gears for the, you know, the turbo diesel generators. Um, I use the stainless ones, so probably would be worth it, um, I think, instead of just switching it over. But we'll see. So there's that. Let me go ahead. Oh, yeah, I need the user interfaces. So there's two user interfaces. Then we're going to get two sets of rocket assembling machines there we go go ahead and grab those and one of these is going to be for our use now for the space station we're also going to need these blocks of polyvinyl chloride so we can either fluid solidify with a block mold that's probably what we'll do because we have it in a liquid form at the moment is this going to be something that comes up a lot Satellite Builder, Space Station Assembler, that's it. So once again, things that we're going to craft like one time. No, that's way more than I need. <laughs> you know what, that's okay. We'll just, uh, we'll roll with it. Because there are a couple other things that we're going to use it for. So we might as well. I should have just moved over by buckets, but... We've got this automated, so it'll fill back up. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're back up to 20 buckets. So, yay. 
And we can break this down for ingots, which I know we use polyvinyl chloride ingots a little bit, so um, that should be fine. Let's go ahead, get me the other advanced circuit that we're going to need. And there is our space station assembler. Okay, so task completed. Now next up is the uh, the satellite bay, which is advanced machine. That's just two chrome plates and an assembler. Okay, so we'll just toss it in. Really, any of these assemblers would be fine. Get that crafted up. That's going to give us that. Is this used for, once again, it's just a bunch of stuff that we'll probably only use like one time. Uh, it's really not used for much. I mean, the satellite bay and then a couple like single time craft things, maybe, you know. Um, there's our satellite bay. Going to do that. Uh, next up, we have the space station ID chip. So basic circuit, this is going to be, another recipe we'll set up, this is just going to be a basic electronic circuit. And then a linker. And there was a quest for the linker, uh, remote lever, this is just a bunch of junk, honestly. <laughs> Alright, All right, let me set this recipe up real quick and then we'll get that knocked out. So if you send it that, then I'll just craft one and then pull it out, so it'll be easier for us I think then you're going to get the basic circuit and we will toss that in okay now this linker um, we need a button so there's that and then for the tool casing Go ahead and order all the stuff for that. It's really nice once you have all this like just general Greg Tech things automated. And whenever something does come up like this kind of stuff that we're going to be using consistently, you just set up, you know, you just automate it real quick and then you can order it forever. So that's what I've been trying to do is just kind of order things or automate things as they come up, you know, uh, major things. A lot of this like advanced rocketry stuff won't be used that much realistically, but. So there is our tool casing. And then for the linker itself, I think we're gonna need the, yeah, the rose red and the cactus green, okay. Let me just go ahead and order the iron plate. So those will be ready and we'll get the dies together. Okay, so there is our linker. There's that. So that's gonna complete a quest for us. Uh, over here, and we're gonna get another linker as a reward. Just put that into here and then we're going to take our basic circuit alongside our linker there's our space station id chip okay so there's that the last thing we need for space station is the satellite builder which takes a lot of crap <laughs> so let's see satellite builder we need the data storage, the motor, and the saw blade. Let me go ahead and just order all the rest of the stuff that we're going to need for that, because it's got to make some circuits and things like that. Uh, data storage, this is where we're going to start using the precision assembler. Okay. The motor, we should, we should know how to make steel rings. It does. Why does it not... Um, Okay, this thing is very confused at the moment. Um, if you send it steel, you get steel rings. Is it that difficult? Okay, if I craft the steel rings, I don't know, something's, something's up with this. I'm going to have to try to figure that out. Okay, so there's that. The saw blade assembly is, yeah, just something I've just got to craft out here. Okay, so there's that. And then the data storage unit, this is just basic circuit emerald redstone. Okay, now this thing feeds off of um, RF. Now what I'm probably going to be doing, this is going to come around like over to here. 
um, just like it has on this side, right? Um, it's going to come around and then it's just going to poke through, go into like an HVCEU and just power this thing. Um, okay, I got some signal and cable, just went ahead and ran that over um, down to here. Um, I've got to get the rest of that automated, but we are going to, uh, over here where our input hatch is, let's go ahead and add those things. And we're going to turn this on, and it's going to craft that for us. If we take a look here, there is our data storage unit. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and get our satellite builder. There we go. Grab that, throw it back in there. Quest complete, and we're going to get another space station ID chip, which we will end up using. Now there is the guidance computer. Um, we're going to have to get that. Which is all pretty straightforward. We are going to need four tracking units. So we'll go ahead and just toss all that in there. Get that running. Crafting our um, basic circuit plates. Then we just need redstone and eye of ender. And I'm actually going to set up a recipe here for eye of ender also. We'll go ahead and toss that in there. Right, right, oh does it, oh no, it was just a lag spike I guess. It's going to get that crafted out and then from there it is pretty much done I think. I enjoy watching this thing run. I wish there was some sound involved, you know. Um, that's the only thing that I think it's kind of lacking but. It reminds me of the um, Pneumaticraft stuff which I, uh, I like. That's one of those mods I wish it could have fit into Tails, but it just didn't really make sense in Tails, but Pneumaticraft is just fun. After Tails is finally done, I would like to do a tech pack at some point, but. Okay, so there is our guidance computer. Quest complete. And they're gonna give us Ender Elevators, okay. Um, and then at this point, we just have to get our fuel made and build our rocket, which our rocket is actually really easy to craft. We've already got that. Um, and the rest of this is super straightforward, super straightforward. Um, so what we're going to do at this point, we're going to, I think, end out this episode here because I know it's about wrapping up point for this episode. Next episode, whenever we come back, we're going to tackle some astral sorcery. Um, because that's kind of our next thing that we're really going to need to do. We need to get our ritual set up to keep mobs from spawning. And we also need to um, get our celestial gateway, which will knock out this quest here. Um, we need to get this set up. And so that way we can quickly travel back and forth between our space station and our base. And then we'll get our fuel knocked out, get our ritual set up so no mobs can spawn, and then we'll be, I think, ready to launch into space, go to our space station, uh, get that set up, um, and then we can push on to the planets, um, I do believe. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the, that's kind of the plan. So we're looking at a couple episodes and then we'll be in space and then, um, maybe an episode on the space station and set up the ore system. Uh, and then go into the actual planets and start doing some dungeons. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Like I said, I've been kind of watching the election, so I've been a little bit sidetracked this week. But it does seem like the election's just kind of stalled to a halt. Um, I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's really, really weird. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys then.